I mean, football fans from across Canada are flocking here for the Grey Cup, and we're hosting it, the city with the worst team in the league. Boy, if only we had a real football team. Real, real football, football team. Okay, now I know I'm dreaming. It's Lansdowne Park, all right, but oh, Ottawa yeah. football fans actually cheering on their team? And what's this? Ottawa's winning the game. Come on, could this really be the Ottawa Rough Riders? Of course not. This is an Ottawa football team that wins. The Ottawa Bootleggers. It's the capital of the nation. It's a new football nation. The bootleggers are the new creation. And we're gonna kick the bu -bu 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 bootleggers in the air. The Bootleggers is the newest and only Canadian team in the EFL, the American Empire Football League. So I'm Big Jim Gamogas, and uh, it's great to be playing in the EFL, the Empty Football League, and I'm uh, real glad to be here. And these guys don't get paid to play football, they do it for fun. And their idea of fun? Inflicting pain. You can destroy them. Cause some pain. No pain, no gain. Oh, we're gonna hurt them, man. We're gonna kill them, of course. <laughs> don't do anything about it. Most of these guys figure they're good enough to play in the pros. But for one reason or another, just haven't made it. So they have other professions. Tim Saunders, for example, is a chartered accountant. Andy Waterman is in telecommunications. Otis Blackett works in construction. And Clark Oliver is in the advertising game. All straight jobs, sure. But get these guys together for football, and you have a team that's earned the reputation of being a bunch of lunatics. Get out, all oh, you people in Ottawa. We're going to rap to you. We're talking football. You know what's going to happen when it comes to ball. Ottawa, bootleggers, and in tall. Head coach Mike White, a stockbroker in real life, has the formidable task of trying to keep all the lunatics in line. Oh, it's more like a ringmaster. I don't really coach. I just sort of stand there going, yeah, okay, fine, it's fine. So, uh, the majority of them just like to have fun, play football for fun, and to knock the crap out of the next guy and uh, take real pride in it. Now, because the bootleggers play in an American league, they have to play American rules football. The American field is longer so one of the goalposts has to be removed. The field's also narrower, so new sidelines have to be laid down. Is this what free trade's all about? Well, at least the national anthem is Canadian. The national anthem sung by Elvis, the bootlegger mascot, the Grim Reaper, all in fun, not really. When the game begins, these guys take it all very seriously. Too many people here to disappoint them with a yeah. shitty game. Let's do it. Go. 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 One, two, three, Go. bootleggers. One, two, three, bootleggers. Go. 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 This is the last game of the regular season. The bootleggers have already earned a playoff berth. Here we go. Go right. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Good job, guys. Good job. Way to go, Black. The foes on the other side of the field are from Watertown, New York most from an army base there. Now, Yankees aren't used to losing, but with the game barely 10 minutes old, Watertown is getting clobbered, 13 to nothing. The fans, more than 5,000 strong, just love it. Why do they have a team in Ottawa that can win? <laughs> They're good. Far better than I won't say who. <laughs> this is my attempt to be part of the Team Silver and Black. I used to have a red and white outfit for Ottawa Rock. After 31 years, I've had Back to the locker room at halftime, the score's 20 to nothing. You'd think these guys would be happy. Why you guys are down? No way. They want blood. Riders take note. We're home, man. We're home. Look at the crowd. Go on now, mud. Kick ass. As the second half begins, the bootlegger philosophy becomes clear. We like to beat up Americans. I love to kick their ass. It's great. But as it turns out, the bootleggers get beat up first. Quarterback Jamie Crawford is hit hard after the whistle. An ambulance is called to get him off the field. The player who hit him, Watertown's number 40. And the bootleggers are mad, really mad. You better get him right now. And number 40, well, he decides to make a hasty exit. But a few players.
plays later, he's back on the field, and a bootlegger never forgets. After that, the game turns ugly. Players are pummeled. Penalties are called. Tempers rage and fights break out all over the field. And the fans? Well, they just can't get enough. At one point, the Watertown coach even offers to surrender. Coach Mike White just laughs in his face. This other coach is whining now that uh, I said I let's let our guys loose and say, hey, let's maybe uh, take take some shots that they've been taking us all game. The rest let it get out of hand. What can you say? Finally, the game ends. Bootleggers 37, Watertown 6. Back in the locker room, the players still seething cool down with a cold beer. After all, it's only a game, guys. The bootleggers went all the way to the finals this season, but they lost the EFL championship game by one touchdown to Scranton. Doesn't matter, they're still good enough to make me change my colors. Riders, take note. Nine.